Hey guys, in today's video, I will be talking about the play Western Conference Playoff Semifinal Series between the number one seed Oklahoma City Thunder and the five seed the Dallas Mavericks. So this is the game five for this matchup. Um, get, the Mavs would win this game 104 to 92. The Mavs now lead the series three to two, and they are going back to their home court and hopefully they can close out the series with the win at their home court. Um, I just wanted to go off and um, state some of the, the players' individual stats for each of the teams. So starting off with the Thunder, um, Alexander had 30 points. Um, he was a really the... No one else had more than 15 points after him. Uh, everyone else had a low scoring game, which that's a good side for the Dallas Mavericks because they really had been then per, uh, their other stars have really been scoring a lot of points, which has been helping them. And also, they've been providing a lot of bench points, but that did not happen in this game. I'll talk about bench points later on in this video. Um, for the Dallas Mavericks, Luca. He had 31 points. Luca is back to his normal self. Well, I can say he was more comfortable where a lot of people saw a different side of him in this game than the previous game four. Um, game four, he was worried about drawing the foul, not really, like he was looking to get fouled and to like, um, not really going for the shot. Um, in this game, I would say that he was really looking for a shot. You know, he wasn't complaining or looking at the refs every time he went up for a shot and he was fouled. Like, he didn't really pay attention to that. He was more of going to score, you know, into that mindset. But he had a 30-piece triple-double. He had 31 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists in this game. I would say that this is the Luka that the Mavericks want, and they've been needing this whole entire series to for those games that they did lose in this series going on to game six the Mavs will definitely need this Luka again because them then they're only gonna come back you know to try to win so they definitely need that um Derek Jones Jr. had 19 points he was really shooting great in the beginning game like he was at a point where he was Six to six from field goals, three for three for the three point line. Like he wasn't missing at all. He was very hot in the first quarter. Like he wasn't missing nothing, not a single shot. Um, he definitely, and it was, you know, Luca when he had the ball, he's bringing a double team because they're double teaming him, and then they are leaving Derek Jones Jr. wide open, and he's, you know, making them pay for that. Um, Kyrie Irving had 12 points this game. Um, he definitely did take a lot more shots and was looking for his shot a lot more than he did in the previous game four Which that definitely is a positive for the Mavs, but definitely going into game six. He will definitely need to provide more um, Rather being you know shot um, setting up his other teams for a shot But I also think that he needs to contribute more in scoring points, you know So whenever there's you know, like the Mavs can have a lead, you know, it's not where it's gonna get close at any point Derek Lively Jr. Um, coming off the bench, he had 11 points. Lively definitely provided the defense for the Mavs coming off the bench, and he was definitely there. Uh, there was points that, you know, um, Holger was going in for a block. Um, he, um, and Derek Lively was like, no, you know, and blocked him, you know. Um, having Gafford and Lively as you know, your two bigs for the Mavs is definitely something that can be dangerous going in later in the um, playoff series because they both are just getting better and more dominant going into being more comfortable in the playoff series with the Mavs. So that's definitely something that's going to be a positive for the Mavs going further off in the playoffs. PJ Washington had 10 points. Um, PJ Washington in the last three games, last couple games of series, he's been the highest scoring player for the Mavs so obviously um like him you know feeling like you know even though you want more from them it's a way also showing that you don't need to score or be the highest scoring player every single game for us to win you know like he was that provider this game Luca was that provider um in game five so that's definitely a positive for them obviously PJ Washington did have some early foul trouble that's a one thing that has kind of 
hurt in this series um but you know the map has still figured it out you know they put in you know um hardy and he got some minutes you know that's definitely something that the Mavs definitely saw the um in the beginning when he was playing he definitely brought in some points too for the Mavs so that's definitely a positive for that so going into game six you know um I will say that the Mavs definitely um shot a lot better from the free throw than they did in the previous game um so now I'm gonna go um like I have been um in my previous videos for this series I've been pointing out the bench points and because the bench does come off the bench um the players that do come off the bench do a lot from a three point line and then also I'm gonna break down the each quarter um scoring so starting with the bench points the Thunder had 19 points off the bench and they shot three of 12 from the three point line um they did have a lot of points coming off the bench, but I would say that they are providing 20 or more points each game. So that is a positive for the Mavs because, you know, but I would at least say that if they're going to provide 20 or more points, that the Mavs bench needs to come out and provide 20 or more points so that it is like not all, all on the starters to uh, provide the points for your team, you know, at the end of the day, um, because that like, you know, it doesn't put that pressure on your starting five when you have your bench players, you know, because that's whenever your starting players are getting a breather and your bench point, your bench players are going in, but they're also scoring too, then it's like all positives for your team. The Mavs had 23 points coming off the bench and they shot two of 10 for the three point line. Obviously, they did not shoot very well for the three point line, but they did provide a lot of points off the bench so that is a positive going into the next game of the series um they definitely will need to put up 20 or more points going off the bench in the next game so um that is definitely a good look for the Mavs um obviously the three point shooting wasn't good but that's something that each game it changes like one day it can be off but in game six it could be a lot better so starting off with each quarter um one through four um in the first quarter the maps would lead 24 to 22 then the second quarter the maps would lead 30 to 22. um so in previous to game four that they lost um yeah game four they lost they led in the first and second quarter but then the second half was not so great because yes they kept that lead but they ended up letting the um, the Thunder come back and win this game by having a bad second half. So the question was at halftime was were they gonna be able to keep this lead or were they gonna take the foot off the the gas and you know let the Thunder come back in? Um, that was not the case. Even though it was a close second half, um, in the third quarter the Mavs scored 25, the Thunder had 23. In the fourth quarter it was 25, 25 even. So, um. You know, but like obviously, like also one thing is like yes, you want to have a strong first half, but you want to play like that the whole game. You don't want to sit back, you know, put your foot on the brakes, um, and um, let up because you are in the lead. You know, anything happening anytime. So going on to that, that is it for my overall breakdown of game five for this video uh please subscribe so you will be notified every time i upload a video comment down below if you have any video um um any sports teams or sport that i have not talked about that you would like to see on my channel i'll see you guys bye